And with me here in Workington, Claire Short, formerly Secretary of State for International Development, Damien Green, Immigration Minister, Andy Burnham, Shadow Education Secretary, who stood for the Labour leadership, the economist and academic Professor Norena Hertz, an expert on globalisation, and the author and Daily Mail columnist Melanie Phillips. negotiations. But the fact is that the Brotherhood poses a mortal threat. Not the Brotherhood, simply... everyone agrees, is about 10-15%. This is the story of the Middle East. Pretend extremists will take over so we keep supporting no, dictators. No, Claire, no, it's... Claire, that is... Claire, I think... Can I please... Um, can I just perhaps try and be the voice of reason between the two of you right now? I mean, I think there is a real case to be worried that these wonderful protests that we should support these brave people on the streets could in the power vacuum that emerges end up being hijacked by extremist movements and Melanie is right we saw it in Iran we saw it in Russia at the time of the Bolshevik revolution we saw it with the French revolution and Melanie is right so there is reason to be concerned but, 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 we don't know. Were but, but they playing the you, long game? You don't game? seem to be sitting between it the is. two. You seem to be siding with what Melanie Phillips said. Well, no, I felt that I needed to come in. Well, you in. needed to no, speak, because, but, you've, but you've sided but with I, her. No, but I also think, but, 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 I cannot know with any certainty. Okay. That uh, continues to uh, respect the right of Israel to exist. <laughs> but, 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 but. but. I go to the uh, there's no doubt that Mubarak is a very nasty piece of work. Hitler was elected. Hitler was elected. Melanie is right. Hitler was elected. <laughs> but, but say, if the Brotherhood were to come to power in Egypt, or if radical Islamists come to power anywhere and start stoning people to death, hanging gays from cranes, uh, murdering people who are their political opponents, this throwing is them really, off the tops this of tall buildings, the are woman we really is going right. to say that if because they... they were elected, we stand back and we applaud right. this? Of course but, not. But... This new world of technology, of social media, of Twitter, of Facebook, WikiLeaks where it's hard for the state to suppress information, whether we like it or not, that has acted as a game changer. As Melanie says, we don't know what it will deliver and it could deliver something dangerous. And All the right. Middle East Thank is you, a powder keg of a region. Right. We have to live in the world that we live in. And one of the, th this has been a really interesting discussion and, and Twitter and Facebook and all of that, because <laughs> it was only what, six weeks ago that a vegetable seller in Tunisia uh, got so fed up that he, he took himself home and self-immolated. Remarkable and tragic and appalling fact that uh, since the 1990s, uh, Britain has not just been a safe haven for terrorists, but became, it became known uh, by the French security service, uh, called it contemptuously, Londonistan, in which we've got ourselves into a situation in this country where we think it is more important uh, that uh, the human rights of somebody to enjoy our welfare system, to break our immigration law, uh, to enjoy the benefits of living here, um, outweigh any danger to us. The judiciary says you can't deport anyone to a country where they may be ill-treated. Well, since virtually no country in the world measures up to British standards, it means you can virtually deport no one anywhere. But, 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 but. And this has become a kind of farcical situation. Um, to go back to the um, gentleman's question, uh, have we become a, a safe haven for terrorism? Cyber terrorism is computers getting hacked, which can destroy stock markets and government buildings and government programs. And so whether we are fully cognizant of that and putting the resources in to deal with the new forms of terrorism that will keep us safe that we need to do, okay. I'm not yet sure. Lord uh, Colonel right. did yeah. support control orders. I think he might be a bit miffed that the government's changed them. 
I don't think he's any longer a big liberal he, liberal. He said the debate had been poorly informed. At yes, because they didn't take his advice on the main question. Well, let's... Uh, let's, uh, let's